everyone. Welcome back to Candid Football Conversations. With me is Arnava Chaudhary, like always. Today we're here to talk about one of my favorite topics, actually, when it comes to Indian football: the possibility of players of Indian origin playing for the national side. It's largely debated topic. We have laws in place that probably do not allow it right now, but there is conversation and there is always hope for change. Uh, Arnava. But where do we stand today, right now, when it comes to overseas players of Indian origin playing for the nation? There's only one option at the moment, and that is uh, to have an Indian passport. If you hold an Indian passport, anyone who holds an Indian passport can represent the Indian national football team. Not only the Indian national football team, but any uh, uh, team, uh, national side in sports, be it individual or be it a team sport. So therefore, that is the rule and regulation that exists currently in the country. Um, and um, I have been a person who's been sort of propagating for now over two decades that we should consider players of Indian origin to represent our our country, uh, to utilize uh, that diaspora um, in trying to, on one side, strengthen the Indian national teams. It's not just a topic for the men's team, but also for the women's team and how it could uh, help the development of Indian football overall. And uh, yeah. um, there has been a tense over the last, um, yeah, two plus decades, a number of times. Uh, there have been efforts. I was involved in 2006 when the then General Secretary uh, Albert Colasso um, had, had tried to look into the matter with, with the help of the then uh, Federation President Peter Ranjan Das Munsi. It didn't happen. It was tried a little later, a few years later, by Bob Houghton. Uh, the topic was raised by Stephen Constantine, by Wim Kervermans. Uh, Igor Stimach has raised it as, as, as a topic. Because nations, uh, not only around us in South Asia, uh, but nations around the world utilize players of origin to go and represent national teams and, and, and in this way, strengthen their sides. So therefore, um, it's good to see that a task force has been created by the AFF. Um, it's a very, very welcome and very, very positive step. Um, but I think more than creating a task force and trying to find out those, that data is available with with, with, with certain people uh, have that data. I think that's relatively easy to find out who is who is the play, who are the players and who could be should be approached. Um, uh, it's just a question of how much of lobbying needs to be done with the government of India to allow it. And I think that's the real challenge in this. I don't know why hasn't it happened so far because it's been a while and uh, of course India allows single citizenship probably a reason but why else has it not been allowed so far? So single citizenship as per FIFA rules and regulations is not a deterrent for allowing someone to represent your national teams in football at least um, and it's even less a deterrent in other sports. I mean I, I look at China at the at the Beijing Winter Olympics last year Um where the uh, the ice hockey team of China was mainly made up of North American players, right? So uh, they were not even Chinese, um, or the Chinese uh, naturalized a lot of athletes in, in 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 other sports as well to 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 get medals out of it. You know, a lot of Americans suddenly were representing China, so that that has happened. The question here for us is, is what steps does the AFF take um, as per the law of the land? Uh, to enable these players to to represent us, because if even if you try to do the process of saying, okay, listen, I'm going to give up my citizenship, whatever it is, be it a country from Europe or be it you know the U.S. or ca Canadian citizenship, and take up Indian citizenship, the process takes long. Aratha Izumi is is one one of those examples. Um, Aratha came to India, played for East Bengal, Mahindra for Pune FC, um, and then went on to play for some of the ISL teams. And um, after coming to India, he fell in love, stayed in the country, wanted to play for India. And it took him four or five years to get a passport. So even if someone today says, I want to come to India uh, uh, and, and, and represent India, um, to get the passport just takes way too long. And, and, and therefore, you know, we got a year, year and a half, I think, out of Varata in the end and, and could have used him in his prime. Um, so those are the questions I think that 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 the AFF and this task force needs to answer, um, to show a roadmap, a road path for these boys to be able to represent India. And the question is, what kind of time frame are we looking at the Asian Cup even next year? Are we looking at that? Are we looking at the World Cup qualifiers for 2026? Then a lot of work needs to be done in the next two three months. Yeah, Arnav, wouldn't the Asian Cup come a little too soon for this sort of a change? Uh... Would be would the 2026 World Cup hopes and dreams be a more reasonable, you know, uh, finish line? And as far as this 
as far as the OCI topic is concerned? See, the World Cup qualifiers start before the AFC Asian Cup is yeah, going to be held yeah. because the World Cup qualifiers start in November. So the question is, and you're playing away in Kuwait and then you host Qatar. Um, and, and those two first match days could decide on where the journey might go. You might be there with four, maybe six, you know, Let's, let's live in dream world and you have six points out of those two matches. Then you were very, very likely to get into round three. But you might also end up without a point at all. Um, and, yeah. and, 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 you know, the March window puts you under a lot of pressure to, to face Afghanistan or Mongolia. So the journey might be over before it's even started. So the question is, if we are looking at 2026, we would have to then take certain decisions now um, and work on it. Um, so therefore, again, I know it will take time. It will not happen overnight. Um, but again, it's, it's, it's a positive sign from the FF to look at this matter, to look at this topic, because I think the Secretary General has, has tweeted about it saying, you know, this is a topic which the FF is being asked every day. So they do realize that this topic is, is there. And, and as someone who is of Indian origin, born and brought up in Germany, I hold a German passport. Um, I, I truly believe it is of value. And it's, again, we look at just um, teams around us, uh, certain nations have built their football. Look at Philippines in the World Cup. It was an Ameri American college team which played the FIFA Women's World Cup per se. Uh, look at our neighbours, Pakistan. Again, they've been banned for a long time. Their league is not running, but they brought in those boys from, from Denmark and from, from, from the UK. Um, they will take time. They will need time to gel, but it's happened. Afghanistan has been, been a team of, of, of mainly of, of refugee kids here from Germany. Look at look at the North African countries, you know, a Morocco, a Tunisia, Algeria. They are mainly teams of, of, of players born in France or the Netherlands or in Belgium. So there are multiple of these examples. You know, a lot of these Caribbean boys who go back from the UK, um, you know, even Argentina, Brazil have, have naturalized players or even, you know, Diego Costa has played for Spain. So there are multiple examples of what you do, what you don't do. But I think players of origin, again, there are multiple of them, I think if you look at someone like a, a Danny Bath who plays at Sunderland, uh, Dylan Markendi, uh, uh, Jan Danda, to, to name a few, um, there are quite a few I think who could come in and would immediately strengthen our Indian national. With the with the extra that these guys bring, what sort of a change will it? What sort of change will it bring to Indian football? Do you think suddenly we skyrocket, or will it be like a step by step, and we still need to go slow and? We have to be realistic. Um, even these guys will have to get the time to settle in. And not every OCI player with a higher level pedigree will come in and potentially be a starter. You know, um, we Again, if we want to, we can create an OCI national team tomorrow. You know, We've yeah. got that many players in Europe and North America to represent India. Um, I think that should not be the target. I think it needs to be done wisely. And... Um, there needs to be a conversation between the federation and the players, between Ego Stimach and the players, between you know the, the, the coaches at under 23, under 20, under 17 level. Women's football is a massive opportunity. There's again, I said Philippines, very, very good example, playing an American college team. We could create an Indian women's college team uh, in the US. You know, there's so many of our female players in, in, in that part of the world. But there are players in England who are playing at the highest level, playing at the highest level here in Germany. So Again, it's 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 tons of them, and and um, it's finding the right ones, the ones who want again want to play for India for the right reasons as well, um, and 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 those will be the challenges. And I hope that um, we get it over the line. I think that's been the biggest struggle of the last twenty two years that I have been involved in this. That the attempts have been made on multiple occasions. Um, I've been myself involved on multiple occasions in trying to, to do it, but we've never gotten it over the line due to different reasons. And mainly it's been the government and it doesn't matter if it's a government which is led by the BJP or a government which has been led by the Congress, that the government, especially the Home Ministry, has been reluctant to, 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 to work together with the, the External Affairs Ministry, with the, for, uh, with the, with the Sports Ministry to, to, to allow this. And it's a question of not only football. I think there are multiple sports where it could be a positive effect to have players of in, uh, of Indian origin to represent yeah. India because I think it strengthens India's sporting ecosystem and it gives also the, the aspirations and the dreams an opportunity because suddenly if you have these players, suddenly people are going to look at India who would most probably never have looked at India as a sporting nation. Uh, do you see it happening this time or now? 
I I'm I, I want to be an optimist, so I would hope and pray yes, um, and 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 wish the AFF uh, all the best and the best of luck on this matter. And um, as as I will communicate with them, uh, any help they need on the matter, I'm more than willing to help them to 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 take this over the line because it helps Indian football massively. Well, I think that is it, guys. I think it helps Indian football massively is what we should be thinking. And uh, yeah, we just hope that it happens and it gets over the line this time around. Uh, thanks, Arunava, for the short chat. We'll be back on Wednesday for a longer discussion on this topic. And we'll have a few more opinions and information with us. And we'll have a little more information with us to discuss. Um, well, like always... Like, share and subscribe to Sports Kabri and Arun Foot. Thanks, Arunava. Thanks, Rahul. And we'll be back with Candid Football Conversations.